Good afternoon. I am Tyler Worth. This is Yesenia Pacheco, Rocio Ramos, and Travis Chris. And we are the tourism pros. The purpose of our proposal for the City of Hayes is to promote Hayes' outstanding tourist and dining options. We believe that if we can get frontline employees motivated to share all that Hayes has to offer, it could benefit not only the businesses where they work, but also <coughs> themselves and the community as a whole. If frontline employees provide visitors with top-notch service and get them out in the community partaking in the <coughs> entertainment options and dining options in town, there will be additional tax revenue raised for the city and they can help fund town improvements and town run activities. Our ultimate goal for this project is to ensure that all frontline employees have the knowledge and ability to share all that Hayes has to offer. The more circulation we can get into Hayes businesses, the better. We feel that the Hayes locals have an obligation to provide all 575,000 guests that stay tonight in Hayes a year a pleasurable and memorable experience. Yesenia will now ex explain our process. Okay, the way we plan to promote Hayes in our businesses is by implementing QR codes on the back of hotel card holders and we have a sample here, we can pass it around for you guys to see. And what it has is the name of the hotel promoted by, and here the, the hotel employee um, will put their name right here, and that way they can promote the businesses and they will tell the customers, we have a QR code in the back, you can go to the website and you can check out all the businesses, places to do, everything that's available in Hayes. You can go ahead and see it in that website. And also for those people that do not have smartphones, we have the link right here. So they can, if they have access to a computer, they can go ahead and go to the link. And then it has the hotel name and address as well as the Chamber of Commerce information. The business cards are also a little bit the same. They have the business information at the front, the address, telephone number, etc. And in the back is just the same as the cardholder. It has the QR link or the code and the link and also the Chamber of Commerce information. I'll go ahead and pass this around. And we were having a little bit of trouble with the laminated machine, so I'm sorry if it's not perfect. The way our promotion works is with those QR links on the back, guests can go ahead and visit the site, and it gives um, promotion for Hayes. Employees can get recognition and a possibility of an award by putting their name on there, the customers or the guests will go ahead and take those cards with them to the businesses. The businesses will have a specific container where they can go ahead and put the employee's name in a drawing box, and then the Chamber of Commerce will pick up all the boxes from the businesses, and they will draw for a $25 gift certificate. I'll go ahead and explain um, a little bit more about QR codes for those of you who aren't familiar. Q QR codes, um, as a picture below, um, usually if anybody that has a smartphone can be um, can access, access these. And um, they're being considered as the new business card of uh, tomorrow. Um, right now, they're barely starting to get out there if you guys haven't noticed in advertising things. But um, there's a great potential um, to revolutionize the, um, the tourism and hospitality industry due to the fact there's a lot of things you can do uh, with just these codes. And again, they're so easy. All you have to do is basically kind of take the picture of it and it'll take you directly to the website. Um, some of the be benefits, um, easy access, and some websites also include um, trackable systems. And um, I'll go ahead and um, explain how to create a code. Uh, we use deliver.com and basically you can go ahead and copy and paste the URL website on this tab here but if you want to go ahead and start tracking um, where uh, it's being scanned and from where the locations go ahead and sign up and it's very simple kind of like what you would do with your Facebook or Twitter account username password email address and then sign up and it'll take you, take you automatically back to the screen where you can copy and paste your URL code or website. Um, I'll just go ahead and sign in to explain 
a little bit more in detail. Oh, I did. Right on the first page, it'll take you to the dashboard. Here you could already um, see what codes you have created, and you can automatically get your code or th uh, the URL co um, link to the website. Also to the right, you can see the views and the scans that have been seen since you created the code. And on the analytics, um, it'll give you an activity map around the world of where it has been scanned from and it'll keep you track with that and it'll give you a little quick summary report of um, the countries, the cities, and a little chart by hour. And so that's pretty neat. Uh, if you return, the other tabs, again, pretty much kind of summarizes um, the info, wh what, where has it been scanned, where it has been the most active during, which would be helpful to know when the tourists um, or visitors um, go come to Hayes more often and it will be a better um, promoting um, method. And there's also CDs and stuff. And with the code that we created, it links automatically to this, um, the visit visitors part of the Hayes website. Um, the only problem with it right now is that once you scan it, it doesn't look what you would see on the computer right now and so that would be a suggestion to do um, to make it for mobile devices because um, you, you could see the first four tabs which are very um, benefit to the visitors but there's also um, other things like community events and group tours and history about Hayes which um, um, would be really good for those visitors that are staying a little bit more than overnight and you go back to the Go ahead and give me the floor. <clears throat> All right, the next phase of this uh, project is to train employees and managers of various hotels and businesses um, how to uh, reach out to their customers through customer service skills. Um, that one? No. Back? How to uh, reach out to their customers through various uh, customer service skills. Also, they're going to teach the method of promotion that she was stating earlier with the QR code on the website. And they'll also explain the incentives for employees and businesses to implement this project. All right, this is a list of skills that we found are very important for uh, various employees and managers at hotels to implement, uh, not only for themselves as coworkers, not only between themselves, not only between managers and coworkers, but also between employees and customers. And the presenter of the workshop will teach the employees how to sorry. How to implement those skills. Okay. Alrighty. The next phase of the workshop is the presenter of the workshop will explain the QR code as uh, they were explaining earlier and they'll also explain the website. And the last phase of the workshop is to explain to employees and businesses the various incentives they would have, such as the $25 gift certificate that they would receive for doing this project. And finally, uh, attendees would be asked to relay any questions to the presenter of the workshop, and any problems or questions that anybody might have would be taken care of at that time. And I forgot to mention when I explained the QR codes, the incentives for the businesses to have employees come in and for them to put their names in the drawing is free advertisement because they are getting free advertisement from the hotel employees. And the incentive for them, the guests or visitors to go to these businesses is to receive some kind of special promotion like free drinks, free appetizers, or a certain percentage off of their um, entire meal or, or purchase. Okay, as one can clearly see, if all these steps are successfully implemented, there will be an increase in repeat and satisfied visitors to Hayes. In addition, the QR code will f further solidify Hayes' spot on the World Wide Web. We feel that Hayes has a lot to share, and it's time we start spreading it around the world. Thank you. Do you guys have any questions? I'm 
percentage. the customer service, what, what would you envision as the delivery of that? All meaning all going together? Are there ones you'd highlight over another? Is it just going to be presentation type? Just fine. I'm just asking how you would envision the delivery of that. Like with uh, customer skills, we were thinking about explaining what the customer skills are, the definition wise, why they are important in the hospitality industry, and doing like a little scenario skit of an example of when it would be a needed in a situation to handle different situations. So we'd well, we would like some interaction from the employees. That way they're not just being taught something and they're actually grasping it and they're getting involved in it to learn it more. What was the one thing that you, is there anything that you learned from this project that you weren't familiar with before? How a QR code works for me. How a QR code works? <laughs> no. Is anybody familiar with that deliver or the trackability of that QR code? Well, I, would, I think it's interesting that you guys find a website that actually tracks how many uh, scans the, co the code gets. Because I did find we found some uh, QR code generator, but they didn't have the other things that just. Tracking. I like that one because it tells you like where that person has scanned it from, how many times a week people are scanning it from. So, like Rocio said. That way you know how many visitors, if visitors come more during the weekend, during the week, for special events, holidays, that kind of stuff, and also helps with promotion for Hayes. So That research is really very, cool. very, very important to find out why yes. people are coming to Hayes so that we can make sure they come back again mm -hmm. and uh, have had a good experience here. I really appreciate you guys really seem to have grasped the concept of what we're trying to accomplish here. And so I'm very hopeful that, um, that, like I said, a lot of the frontline people that work are people that are your age. So I'm very pleased to know that you guys were able to grasp it. It's just passing that information on about how important it is for us to uh, provide <coughs> a good experience for the community. Great. And just to back up on what Carlos said about the trackability of it, for example, there's been some marketing that we've done for the tourism program put it out in the magazines you get in the back of airplanes and things like that. But we have the trackability so we can see where pulling that magazine out, was anybody saving them, is it worth putting it back in there again, et cetera. So and I like the idea of the role playing within the delivery of what customer service is important to Any other questions? Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.